Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I hope you are all doing well and I've got a very exciting video for you here today. So um, I came home from work the other day and I was um, so amazed to find this lovely package from um, Rebecca, the Art Spirits. So she does have a channel here on YouTube um, called the Art Spirits um, and uh, she also sells beautiful metallic and glittery watercolour paints on Etsy in her shop. So she she asked me if um, it would be okay to send me some of her new paints and I of course said, you don't even have to ask. Um, you know, I just love metallic glittery paints and things like that. So yeah, I was very, very fortunate to, to receive these new paints of hers and I'm so, so excited to try them out so thank you so much Rebecca for thinking of me um, and you know I'm I'm just so happy to receive them so I did open the box because um, I don't want to be struggling on camera to try to open it because I am Mrs Bean so basically I find it difficult so anyway you can see that the packages packaging is absolutely gorgeous so first of all um, I just want to show you that she puts these stamps on as well. Um, part of the excitement is, um, so this is like a Christmas themed stamps. Um, part of the excitement is actually opening the packaging. And so then you've got a candy cane here, which you can see that I've opened. I didn't open the paints because I thought I'll do that on camera. And then some, some lovely bits here. And we have some sweets. So these are the uh, fizzes swizzles i don't know if you can get these um in other countries but we have them in the uk um and then a little bottle with some little glittery pieces in there there's actually some confetti i think um i actually don't use these i put them up i put them uh, on my mantelpiece with all the others so that they look nice with some little bottles with with some little um glassware you know like chemical glassware um so it looks like portions and things like that. A lovely fruit tea, raspberry and pomegranate. So I've yet to try this. And then some candy cane stickers that I can use, which I'm excited to use as well. And then we have, just put this, we've got a few little sheets here that we always get regarding information about your paints. So it says, because of the honey used in the binder some colours do remain sticky this means the wrapper can sometimes be difficult to remove to solve this you can pop them in the freezer for 10 minutes before unwrapping them the plastic should remove easily once they are really cold and then glitter paints for best results the binder needs time to dissolve to do this please add a few drops of water to the paints then leave to soak for a couple of minutes before use so that's just information about the paints and how to use them and then we've got Rebecca's beautiful business card here, absolutely gorgeous um, image there. Um, you can see, I think it's watercolored, and then um, some information at the back there with uh, the artsbits.com, the Etsy shop, um, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media as well as the email. And then we get to the page. I'm going to put all of this in here again. And we're going to look at the most exciting bit, which is the paints. So come in this beautiful um, bag, little Christmas trees and stuff. And this was closed with it with another candy cane sticker, but I opened it. And then we have the paints. And you can see that she has put a beautiful sticker. Let's bring you in a little bit. A beautiful sticker on both of them um, so we have this one here which is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland so these are these both of these sets are available right now on her Etsy uh, shop and she does ship worldwide I think as well free shipping um, but you might have to check that so um, but I think it is from what I remember so this is the uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland set and a beautiful sticker to go on top there and then this one is the wonderful with Wizard of Oz um, palette 
watercolour palette. So I think we will look at the wonderful Wizard of Oz first and we can open these up. I mean look how beautiful how beautiful is the presentation there it's just absolutely stunning um really is there's beautiful gems there there's I, I forgot what we call these is it femos or something i asked rebecca once this was um um when when i just purchased paints from her previously and i asked about where she got these stickers from and she told me what they what they actually were and i bought some so yeah i mean and look at the wrapping papers as well for each of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carefully take these out. Like this. And I just want to show you the beautiful wrapping. So of course the theme is the, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. So like I think this one here is called Yellow Brick, Brick Road. Um, and so look at the wrapping the wrapping actually matches the the paint's name so I mean she's so creative so yeah there you go yellow brick road that one this one is sleepy poppies so you've got these beautiful poppies there um, and then we've got this one which is emerald city and you've got gorgeous emerald wrapping paper there um, and then this one is called gingham blue I hope I've said that right. This one here is Ruby Slippers. And then this one here is Tin Man. And you've got a little picture of the, the sort of uh, Tin Man on there. don't know if you can see that. There's the Tin Man there. And there's some, there's an axe and things like that. There's, a, there's a, some logs as well. So, yeah, I'm going to open these up. I mean, these would be absolutely beautiful um, as, you know, as presents, um, as Christmas presents maybe, or birthday presents. So, Tin Man. So, I'm going to put that there first. What gorgeous, gorgeous silver. So, I'm going to write in my book here. Tin Man. Now I'm going to swatch them out onto here as well, but I think I want to swatch them in my book as well. Um, the next one we're going to use, I think we'll have, is the Yellow Brick Road. So we'll open that up. I've been really wanting to open these up, um, but I thought I need to do it on camera. So yellow bit brick road. So I'm just noting it down as well. There we go. I think we'll have Emerald City next. Let's open that one up. Let's see. There we go. Look gorgeous. They're actually not sticking as well, so so far anyway. Uh, next one, I'm going to look at sleepy um, poppies. Now, when I unwrap the other ones, I might unwrap them off camera, but I'll show you the the wrappings. So this is sleepy poppies, or I guess you could always. Um, forward the um, forward this bit if you're in a rush and then we have ruby slipper ruby slipper I mean the care and the attention to detail that Rebecca puts into the presentation of her paints is just outstanding it's just a pleasure to to receive I mean look at this look at that ruby slipper I mean that's going to be absolutely gorgeous and then I've got um, gingham blue you know we've got the beautiful wrapping um, it's just 
just stunning. It's a gorgeous blue. So there we go, those are the paints. Um, and I'm going to put my wrappings to the side. I just don't I don't want to throw these away. I don't know. I'm, I don't think I am going to throw them away. I might keep them because I just love the little little um the actual actual printed images, you know, the actual designs and stuff are so lovely. So I'm going to put them to the side down here so they're out of the way. And then I think we'll open up the um Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Or shall we shall we swatch first? Um, right, what we'll do, I know what we'll do. Right, so what we'll do is we'll activate these paints by putting some water on them. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We only probably need about two drops, but this is just to allow the pigment to dissolve. I hope I haven't added too much water. But anyway, we'll put that to the side so that can uh, wait there for me. And then next we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So these are, um, look at that, it's just a lovely um, sticker there on the lid of the, on the, lid of the uh, tin. Oh gosh, amazing. Look at these little um, stickers here, these form form like stickers with the cards and stuff. Absolutely outstanding. Look how gorgeous that looks and look at the wrapping. The wrapping is just amazing. It's just a delight to actually open this up. So I'm going to try it carefully pick these out. I might put them in actually leave them in this order because I don't want to throw these away, definitely. So the first one we've got is we've got the White Rabbit. I'm just going to write that down. So let's see what this looks like. There we go. So that's a beautiful white. Depending on how that white looks, I mean, it could even pass maybe as snow for a winter scene. Absolutely gorgeous. And look at look at the wrapping for the white rabbit. Amazing. So, so lovely. Um, and then the second one I have is Alice Blue. I'm just going to note that down in my swatch book. Gorgeous blue there, gorgeous blue watercolour. Put that into the tin um, and I'll just show you that. There you go, and you've got Alice there on the wrapping paper. And then the next one is down the rabbit hole. I'm just trying to rush through this really. I'm trying to do it quickly because I, I want to get to the exciting bit of trying the paint, paints out. So what a lovely sort of dark grey that is. That'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Just put the paints here. There we go. Down the rabbit hole. Um, I like that the that this that the tin is big enough so there's gaps between because sometimes I find when you do put paints on um you know it can sometimes spill over to the side so it's good that they you know that there's enough space in the tin to allow that Cheshire cat is the next one Cheshire cat or Cheshire cat I don't know how some people say it but I just say it Cheshire. So that's like a like a magenta sort of a colour. I forgot to show you the wrapping, didn't I? For the Cheshire Cat is this one. And 
then the down the rabbit hole was I think that was this one yeah it was so you've got like beautiful image there as well on the wrapping okay so the next one with these cards is Queen of Hearts so let's get these opened up oh and beautiful red here does look glittery that will be interesting to see what you know what that looks like so that's Queen of Hearts um, and then lastly we have the Mad Hatter scribbling that down and then the wrapper looks like that got the Mad Hatter so that goes there so I'm just going to uh, again wet the paints probably just put two drops on this time put a bit more than on that one and leave them there so they can soak for a bit and the other set the uh, Wonderful Wizard of Oz set should be ready now for swatching so I'm just going to actually move that a little bit further away and then get myself here so that you can see and bring you in a little bit so this is the most exciting part and hopefully I've got you close enough so that you can see everything so I have my brush here so the first colour um, is Tin Man so that's this silver here oh what a beautiful silver absolutely gorgeous so creamy and thick so why it's important to let the paint have a chance to dissolve and thicken up so I'm just going to put a little bit here on the actual swatch thing and then put some here as well that is so nice it's absolutely beautiful instead of a circle I'm going to make it into a block square alright so that's our first colour I'm certainly impressed by that just getting my cloth out so I can just dab my brush on it right the next one is yellow brick road so that's this one and then I'm just going to pop that there as well that is a stunning stunning yellow it's so vivid and bright I hope the camera's picking that up and doing it justice that's just amazing there we go amazing so nice right next Emerald City now that's got the water soaked in a little bit there so I'm going to add a bit more water and then just Oh yeah, you can see it activates straight away because it was already wet. Um, and then we are going to put it here on my little swatch swatch um, card that Rebecca includes. It's not a swatch card; it's just these little little flower things to put you. Well, it is for swatching. Gosh, sometimes. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, and then Emerald City. So I'm just gonna pop that here so this is basically like a how can I describe it like a turquoisey sort of a turquoise glittery green it looks like to me oops beautiful colour though absolutely gorgeous emerald so I guess it is right um, it does look 
quite glittery to me um, but it might just be the metallic sheen but yeah it is beautiful they're so so um, shiny right next one we have the sleepy poppies which is this one here oops I was going to go into the wrong pan then which would have been a bit of a disaster so I'm holding it up so I can actually show you putting it down there beautiful red almost a well I guess it's ruby isn't it so it's it's like a ready pink and then I will pop that here that one looks really nice and glittery I will um, of course show you these dry um, once the paints have dried I'll be able to show you it right the next one is this exciting one which is the ruby slippers so just wipe my brush there now this looks like um, a pure glitter the others were metallic and shiny and it you know you might see little tiny little glitter pieces but this is completely glitter pieces I think um, yet yeah, it's beautiful red glitter I guess you could even overlay this on um, pencil colorings or wherever you want really on top of other paints like other watercolors or on top of acrylics anyway this is the I'm not an expert on this but I would I would definitely uh, use this over pencil colorings or um, acrylic colorings or anything like that so that is how it looks um, gorgeous glitter pieces now you could let that dry and then add another layer so that it's more dense so how you want to apply it is depends on what kind of look you're going after and then the gingham blue which is this just add a little bit of water it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful blue Hopefully you can see it a bit better when I do it in my book. It looks to me like there's little tiny silver glitter pieces in there. and But the blue is so deep and gorgeous. Okay, so that's the wonderful Wizard of Oz um, palette basically just have a little look there I will of course like I said uh, show you when it's dry but absolutely amazing I've got to say my favorite out of oh, it's hard to pick a favorite actually um, I love the tin man and I love the ruby slipper and the in gingham blue uh, I think those three I can't pick between them because they're just stunning the others are beautiful as well but those three in particular are my favourites but we'll see what they look like when they dry as well right so the next one um, we're going to use the we're going to try out sorry not use try out well we are using it as well but okay so we are using or we are trying out the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland set now so we're going to start with the White Rabbit which is this one here hold it in my hand like that I think so this one I'm just going to add a little bit more water and then there you go lovely absolutely gorgeous it seems to have I hope I haven't um, I might have cross contaminated there but not sure don't know I don't think it does have the red I think I got some red from somewhere didn't I but this one is absolutely gorgeous it's like a shimmery white so 
just going to put it on here. I've got a few stray little red glitter pieces there which contaminated it but what a beautiful it's like shimmery white now that would look amazing you know for snow because it's got little little silver glitter pieces in there um, we'll be able to tell more once it's dried hopefully just need to make sure that my brush is fully washed there we go. Okay, so the next one is Alice Blue, um, which I'm going to use here. I'm going to add a little bit more water as well, another drop, just a drop. And then pop that there. That's a beautiful blue as well, and it's a quite, quite a different... Um, blue to the gingham blue that's a stunning blue as well absolutely beautiful yeah I really like that colour so nice I'm so fortunate to have received these paints I'm very 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 grateful um, and then this one here we have, which was down the rabbit hole. And just pop that there. It's like a really darkish grey, but with glitter pieces in there. with silver glitter pieces stunning totally stunning Rebecca always um, amazes me with with the um, quality of her paints and the presentation um, so it's always just such a pleasure to get anything from her um, with with because you know that it's just quality, it's just so good and the presentation just is outstanding so Cheshire Cat is this one here, it's like a magenta, sort of a magenta um, deep 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 pink and magenta colour beautiful I'm glad I'm getting this done because then I can use them you see so I thought I need to make the video straight away. I'm very tired from work today but I thought I'm going to film it because unless I get my video done I'm not going to use them. So it's enough of a motivation. Oh that's absolutely stunning, beautiful. You can see a little bit of purple in there with the deep magenta. Right, okay, next one, Queen of Hearts, which is this gorgeous red looking one. Now this has got little bits of red glitter in it, I can see. So lovely. So this one is within a pin, or so you can see a proper difference between the Queen of Hearts and, you know, the the ruby slipper because a ruby slipper is in a clear um, it's just glitter um, sort of red pieces of glitter in a clear sort of paint medium and then this is like a red paint with red glitter so that you've got a background of red how gorgeous is that that's beautiful I'm so so impressed Rebecca you've really outdone yourself this time and then this last one, which I'm just going to add another drop of water, is the Mad Hatter, possibly a bit like me, a mad chemist. Right, so there we go. Beautiful, look at that, gorgeous orange, stunning. that down here I 
I love that. Love it. And those are the paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these swatches dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what they look like. So for me it'll be probably several minutes but for you it will be a second. Okay so I'm back to show you the swatches. They're mostly dry so I'll show you the swatches first. Um, this is the Alice one. Um, so Alice's Adven Adventures in Wonderland so they haven't really dried that much yet on the lid. I'll show you it in my book because in my book they've pretty much dried and then this one was the Wizard of Oz one and then in my book I think you'd be able to see better so this is the wonderful Wizard of Oz so you've got the Tin Man what a gorgeous gorgeous silver and you can see that they're actually quite different to her other silvers that's her true silver uh, that's the light silver and then this is the new one the tin man and then the yellow brick road so shiny they're absolutely stunning and then you have emerald city beautiful green turquoise color um, it looks more green actually now. Before when I put it down it looked a bit turquoise but yeah definitely an emerald colour. Um, and then this is Sleepy Poppies which is a beautiful shade of pink. And then we have Ruby Slippers which is like a, a, a glitter in a clear base. So that would actually look really nice on some Christmas pages. Um, if you wanted to add some just some red glitter, some you know diffuse glitter so basically it's clear red glitter um, and then you've got gingham blue there which is a gorgeous blue okay and then um, I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland so we have the white rabbit now that one would look beautiful I think for snow it's a lovely white and then Alice Blue and then this is Down the Rabbit Hole um, the Cheshire Cat um, Queen of Hearts, so this is like the Ruby Slipper but it's actually got um, um, a red paint so the glitter pieces are in red paint um, rather than just being in a clear sort of clear background and just the red glitter itself and then the Mad Hatter so yeah I think these new paints are stunning I think they're beautiful <clears throat> and they are an amazing addition to all the other paints that um, Rebecca sells so I'll just come out a bit here so you can see them a little bit better so there they are the Wonderful Wizard of Oz palette. I think you can buy these as individual pans as well. Half pans, I think, yeah. So if you just want certain ones, you can get them or they can come as a set if, if that's what, you, what you're what you after. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much, Rebecca, again, for sending me your beautiful paints to try out. Um, I really do appreciate it and I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using these in my pictures. So um, thank you guys for watching as always. Until next time, take care. Bye.